The National Nicaraguan Police Force La Policia Nacional Nicaragüense is the national police of Nicaragua. The force is in charge of regular police functions and, at times, works in conjunction with the Nicaraguan military, making it an indirect and rather subtle version of a gendarmerie. However, the Nicaraguan National Police work separately and have a different established set of norms than the nation's military. History The National Police of Nicaragua came from the popular breast. Its training began in July 1979 after the overthrow of the National Guard, the armed wing of the Somoza dictatorship. Junta of National Reconstruction decreed on of August of that year, the fundamental statute of the Republic of Nicaragua in its art, 23 declares dissolved the National Guard, the Office of Homeland Security and Military Intelligence Service and the laws of the country. The institution was officially born on September 5 of that year under the name of the Sandinista Police, however, was up in 1980 with the Decree 559 establishing the Act jurisdictional functions of the Sandinista police. Initially, it had the support of advisors who trained the Panamanian first generation in the police academy called initially Basic Military Training School, now Police Academy Walter Mendoza Martinez Institute for Advanced Studies. From 1982 to 1988 was a period marked by the primacy of military defense because of armed conflict existed. Forces were established operational, administrative support to the Interior Ministry troops. Between 1989 and 1992 it underwent a period of transition to peace, changing the uniform and assumed the name of National Police. Executive Order 45-92 defined the function, organization and police career. In 1992 Act 144, Act of the National Police Functions on Legal Aid, defined new functions to the institution. The period 1993 to 1997 was marked by the strengthening of institutions from the constitutional reforms of 1995 that allowed the enactment of Law 228, Law of the National Police, issued on July 31, 1996, and its regulations by Decree Presidential Instruction No. 26 to 96, issued on October 25 of that year. With Law 228 as clearly defined vision, mission, and functions of the police institution. The National Police was organized into a general, under the command of a national headquarters and operate in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution, laws and regulations. At the end of the 1990s National Police worked to its modernization and development and with the support of the Kingdom of Sweden launched the Modernization, Development and Training Police Academy and the National Police of Nicaragua, there is apparent in 1999, the first institutional diagnosis allowing better understand the institutional reality to chart new challenges. With a broader view of their situation, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats, and security demands of the population, in 2000 the National Police designed the "...Modernization and Development Program for the Strengthening of Citizen Security 2001–2005", which had the support of the international community. Components. Restructuring and capacity building Strengthening of police services Development and motivation of human resources Social communication and consensus Legal and regulatory framework Gender Major achievements The results of this execution of the program are highly positive, but did not meet all expectations, especially the lack of budget, hence the formulation of the "...strategic plan for the National Police to strengthen public safety which contains strategies and actions that the police institution must develop efficient and effective to meet the mission, vision and mandates that the Constitution and other laws assign. The five strategic challenges that plan are drawn Improve the effectiveness of the intervention model, capacity and efficiency in addressing common crime and organized crime. Strengthen links between the police and the community to improve coexistence and citizen security. 
Optimize the model and institutional management, financial management system, coverage and service quality, and strengthen the institutional infrastructure. Modernize the system of personnel management and human resource development, strengthening the organizational culture. Update and supplement the legal framework. The development objective of the plan is to strengthen democratic governance and judicial security in Nicaragua, and respect for human rights of the population, through the institutional consolidation of the national police and the improvement of their services, to thus help create the conditions that enable poor people to improve their quality of life. With the assumption of the first commissioner Aminda Granera in the national headquarters in September 2006, adjustments were made in this plan projecting its coverage until 2011, also establishing new strategic guidelines guidelines for police work. It is in this context that the Director General was directed to work strategically to consolidate a strong police, dignified, according to law and dedication to service, whose diary do is to be closely linked to the community, because every police action has its reason for being in service to the community, hence their approach determines that the national police has been working for the community by the community for the community. Directors General of National Police Guerrilla Commander and Brigade René Vivas Lugo Guerrilla Commander and Brigade Walter Ferretti Fonseca Commander Doris Tijerino Haslam First Commissioner Fernando Caldera Asmisha, Director General P.N. 1992 to 1996. First Commissioner Franco Montiligre, Director General P.N. 1996 to 2001. First Commissioner Edwin Cordero Ardila, Director General P.N. 2001 to 2006. First Commissioner Aminta Elena Granera Sacasa, Current Director of the P.N. 2006. <laughs> Women in the Nicaragua National Police With a one-time high of nearly 35%, the Nicaragua National Police has one of the highest men-to-women ratios in the world. After sinking to a 17% low in the 1990s, the percent has climbed to the internationally competitive 30%. Despite this being a tough job for women, the women themselves and government find it very important due to protecting women and women's rights. <laughs> 